Welcome back to Globesweeper Hex Puzzler. Today, I'm gonna be taking a look at two of the cluster levels that we've had unlocked for a while, but only just now are getting to Runs and Dodge. And honestly, I would be surprised if I managed to fit in more than just those two, even though the, the title's gonna be awfully short. But these two levels are both very complicated, or relatively complicated, particularly Dodge. And, I mean, if I have time, I might squeeze in Tetra or something, the, the first triple mechanic level, but... I would expect that these are both gonna take, like, 30 minutes total or something. So let's start with Runs. So the level name for this one just... It's just called Runs because you basically just run along all of these little chains using cluster clues. This is a cluster level, so we start off by just marking all of these tiles that the ones are uh, next to. And now you can kind of go in many, many different directions. So let's start by just doing these two chains here because they are completely just separate from everything else. So right here, we have a cluster tile of six. So we have one tile here. It will need to go here, making two and then three and then four and then five and then six. And after that point, we have to remove this tile because if we mark this tile, then we would make a cluster tile of seven. So break it off from that point. And then we have the one here and this one uh, needing that tile. In On this side, we have a cluster tile of three, so one, two, three, disconnect it, and then this two needs this tile, which gets, gets us a two cluster tile, so this one needs one and two, and then to be disconnected, and then we get two here, and a final one cluster tile, which cannot touch any other tile, so this one is removed. So, just a bit of a refresher on cluster tiles, I suppose. Now, let's start by going here. We have a two cluster tile, that has to go here to make two, and then now has to be disconnected. And then we get these two tiles. We cannot move in this direction, but here we have a cluster tile of three, so one, two, and three, and then disconnect it. And then we just solve these tiles normally. We cannot move on in this direction, but here we get one, two, disconnect it. We cannot say anything about this two, but this one is already done, and the zero, and these. We can't go in this direction, but here, this tile has to be disconnected from everything. Nothing to do here, but right here we get this two. And then the two cluster tile has to go here and then get disconnected. And this one, uh, which way is best to go? I guess over here, this two needs this tile. And we get a two cluster tile that has to go here and then get disconnected. And then this tile, and that's as far as we can take this for now. Uh, well, I mean, we could start there, but let's leave that for a little bit. So now this one tile cannot have this one marked, and then the zero and the two here. Now we have a two cluster tile here that already has two tiles, so we have to disconnect it from all of the uh, connecting tiles. That gets us a four here, so we can mark all of these. And once again, we have a three cluster that is already completed, so we have to disconnect all of the, uh, uh, what are they called again? The stable tiles. I don't know exactly why they are called that. Wouldn't these ones be reactive and these ones stable? But it's like the opposite way? I don't know, I just call them like gold tiles, I guess, and the uh, black tiles or something. No idea. But yeah, let's move on here. Just normal tile solving here for as much as you can. This tile cannot touch anything else, which gets us a three here. And that's as far as we can take that. In this direction, we can go here. And then this five will need this tile at least, but now we can't say any more. It could use this tile and then be completed as a chain of five, and then we've removed these two tiles and this tile. Or it could ignore this tile and go this way. So we can't say anything about that quite yet. But on this side, we have a two here. This one tile cannot touch anything else. This one tile is done, and the two tile needs one more. We can't go on in this direction, but here we get a zero and then a one. Now we can look at this area. I don't know if I should or if I should go elsewhere, but that's fine. Let's l let's look here. So, as I said before, this five only has two options. Either it uses this tile and completes a chain of five like this, and then we disconnect these three tiles, or it does not use this tile. If it does not use this tile, if we remove this tile, then we would go here. So we would have one, two, three, four, and then this one would already be completed, removing this tile, and we would only have a chain of four for this five. So it's not possible to remove this tile, we have to mark it, and that completes the chain of five, 
so we have to remove these tiles as well. That gives us this tile, and completes that. And then these ones are done, this one gets marked there, and the zero is done. Like so. Now, we can look at this one, the six here, we have one, two, three, four, five, and then we have to go here, there's no other option, so six, and then disconnect it. This one now lets us remove this tile, and we get that for the two. And then once again, here we only have one way to, to go, we have a cluster of six, we have three tiles already, we have to go here, making four, and then five, and then six, and then cutting it off. The one is done, and the two needs this tile, and we get that. So now that entire area is done, and now we can move on in one of these directions. So here, we left this earlier, but we got this two tile, making this tile appear. So for this three, we have to go at least here. So we have two tiles, and we need one more, and it can go in either one of these directions. But we can't use this tile, because then it would connect up to this tile that we got from the two, making a chain of four. So this tile cannot be marked, and it has to go this way instead, and then gets cut off. And then we get these, and now we can look at this six. Is that the last thing? Yeah, it's the final thing. And this is kind of the, the trickiest portion of it as well. So this six, uh, once again, has like two options essentially. So we start off with one, it has to go two, it has to go three. But now the question is, do we use this tile or not? If we use this tile, we would have one, two, three, four, and five and then we would have to use this tile 6. So already we can we can mark this tile because either way, if it uses or doesn't use this tile, we have to use this tile to make it 6. So we can mark that right away. But what, what happens if we remove this tile? If we don't use this tile, then we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then the 2 is already complete, similar to the 5 that we saw earlier. So this tile would be gone, and this would only be a chain of 5. So, this tile is not possible to remove, we have to mark it, and then complete the chain of uh, six like that, or the cluster. And then the final tile is marked. So there we go, and we unlock Triangle Weave, but let's leave that one for now, and instead, jump into Dodge. So this is kind of an interesting level, there's a, a bit of a fun fact that maybe doesn't have anything to do with actually solving it, but this level used to be impossible. There used to be a logical fault in it, where you had to make a wrong assumption about the game mechanics that then gets proven wrong later on. And what I mean by that is over, uh, over here. And it's, I'm kind of proud because I'm the one that figured this out, or uh, posted it in the Steam forums and the developer commented and said, oops, that was a mistake. And it actually just recently, like I think today or yesterday, got patched, and now this is right again, and that's really, really fun. I was not expecting this to get fixed while I was making this walkthrough, so that's lovely. I don't have to, like, you know, make an explanation for why this is wrong, but previously, this was not a 5. This tile didn't exist, and instead there was a 4 right here, a 4 cluster tile. And the problem was, because you have a 4 cluster tile here, and a 4 cluster tile here, you could, in theory, connect them up, because then you would have two clusters of four, or like one cluster of four with two cluster clues in them. And that didn't work for the solution, that would make it impossible to solve. So when I was solving it, I believe I was even streaming this, it's like in the second VOD I did of just playing random levels in this, in this game, I was solving this level and had to make that assumption that cluster clues of the same number cannot connect up, even when it would make sense for them to do so. But that is actually not true, because later on, in later levels, we do have to do that. So that was just uh, an error in the, the level design, and to fix it, they just made this, uh, instead of having a four tile here, we now have five tile here, so even if we do connect them up, we can't do that because they are, they need a different amount of tiles, essentially. So just a, a little fun thing there. I'm kind of a uh, moderately proud of that. But let's get started at the first one instead, and this one is called Dodge, because you have to dodge all of the other cluster clues. Uh, all of them have to avoid each other, there is not a single cluster clue that can touch another cluster clue on this entire area, and it's just about figuring out what tiles have to go 
where, essentially. So we can start looking at these clues here. So this five, this is similar to uh, the level orange peel that we learned this mechanic in, where this five can at most go one step closer to this four before it would inevitably need to be disconnected. It could also be disconnected right here. But the earliest point to start the five is right here. It cannot start earlier than that. So because of that, we get one, two, and then we have to go three, four, and five. We have to mark these tiles because it is not possible to extend further this way. And because of that, we are now right next to a four, so this tile has to be disconnected. And then we get four tiles here. We need one more to complete the five, and then we have to disconnect it from the four. Now we can look at both of these fours. So this four has one, we get two, three, and then one of these two, but we don't know which one yet. And then here we have one, two, and then regardless of whether we use this one or not, we still need one, two, three, and four, or one, two, and three. So either way, we will have to mark this tile for the four here. That's all we can do here. So now we look at this four. So this four cannot use this tile because then it would connect up to the three. So this tile is off limits, right? And this tile is also off limits because even if we go here and then here, then we would make a chain of six combining these two four clues. So this clue, this tile cannot be used by this four. So this and this tile are off limits. And what does that leave? We have one, two, three, and four. And that's the only solution. So we have to use these four and cut them off from the three and the four. And that lets us complete this four like so, and this three like one, two, three, and then disconnect it. This two is already done, so we disconnect that. This four now only needs one more and only has one left. This two lets us mark this one. And now for this three cluster, we have one, two, and three, and then we disconnect it. So that's the first one. Uh, these are all independent little puzzles, so you can go in whichever direction. I don't have a particular direction, so let's just go to this one, I suppose. This one, the trick here is the nine. You have to consider the minimum amount of tiles in this area that the nine will have to use. So let's start by extending the nine as much as we can. So we have one, we need to go two, three. Now we could go up here, or we could go in here. Let's say we use all three of these tiles. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We still have to go seven, regardless of what happens here. And then we need two more tiles in this area, minimum for this nine. Now, if you look at the, the four here, uh, should, should we look at the four? Or should we just look at this? I mean, you don't even have to look at the four. If you just think about the nine still. So once again, Minimum, we are at seven tiles right now, so we need two more tiles. We have two options to go here. We can either go this way or go this way. But what happens if we go to this tile? If this tile is marked gold right now, then we would have to disconnect these two tiles to not connect up to the four, which would leave no tiles for the four. So this tile cannot be marked in the line of nine, so we can remove it right away. And then we get, again, we have four maybe up to seven, and then eight, and then we need one more here. So don't fall for the trap here. We've done this in previous levels where since we have one left here, that means this tile that touches both of these can't be marked because you have to uh, disconnect these two. Like whether it goes here or here, you have to disconnect all the other tiles. But that's not true here because we don't still, we still don't know if we are going to use all three of these tiles. So at this point, we have to look at the four. This tile is off limits for the four because if it reaches up here and then reaches up here, it would connect up to the nine. So the four only has these four tiles to play around with, including itself. So that's the only possible way to complete the four like so and then disconnect it from the nine. That in turn, get, in turn gives us a three. And we also, once again, look at the, the nine here. We have five tiles here, maybe six, seven, eight. So we at least need to go here, no matter what. And that completes this three, so we can remove this tile. And that gets us a one, so we can remove this tile. But now that gets us a two, so we have to mark this tile. And now we have seven here, so we need eight and nine, but not this tile. So we ended up not using all three of these tiles, but we always assumed 
the, the minimum that we would have to use in this area if we were to use all of these, these clues. And that's like the secret to that one. All right, now, uh, where do I even go from here? I, I guess this one, that's fine. So this one, oh boy, how did you start this one again? Oh yeah, yeah, this is the one I was talking about. I was just like looking at it upside down. So in this one, you start at the five here. So the five has one. It has to go at least here to two. We know that. And then think about the off limits tiles yet again. So this tile, the five cannot use because then it would connect up to the four. So this tile is off limits. This tile is also off limits because then it would connect up to the six. So these tiles, these two tiles cannot be marked for the five. So what does that leave us? We have one, two, three, four, and five. So that's the only possible configuration that this five can be in. And then we have to cut it off from the four and we have to cut it off from the six. Now we look at the six here. The six could extend here, but we don't know if it has to. So right now it has one, maybe two, but regardless, we then have to go here for three, four, five, and six minimum. And now we can remove this tile to disconnect it from the four. So then we either use this tile or this tile. We don't yet know, though uh, it's pretty obvious which one it is. I mean, you can you can solve this in many different ways, but let's just look at this four. We have one, two, and then regardless of whether we go here or not, we still have to go here. So it's either one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, and then another one. So we have to mark this tile but now we have to disconnect both of these because it cannot connect up to this four and it cannot connect up to this six. So that completes this four tile for a cluster like that. This four only has these three tiles left and the six only has this tile left. Now I guess we'll go to this one here. Uh, this one, we start off by looking at this four, I guess. Just we have one, we need two, and then we don't know, we need three or four, or three or four, or three or four. Can't say anything, but this tile is marked for the four. On this side, we have one, two, three, four, and then we have to disconnect this tile because we can't connect up the three and seven, so that's gone, which now in turn lets us mark this tile, five, and then again, we have to disconnect these two clues. So now we have five clues, five tiles for the seven, and we need two more. Now at this point, we look at this seven. What can we do with this seven? Once again, think of the uh, the off-limits clues, the off-limit tiles. Uh, we cannot use this tile here for the seven, because if we use this tile, then we would have to unmark these tiles, which would only leave two tiles for this four. So this tile cannot be marked for the seven. This tile cannot be marked for the seven, because the shortest path to connect these up would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these two clues cannot be in the same cluster. They have to be two separate clusters. So because of that, this tile is off limits. We can't use that for the seven. And what does that leave? If we remove this cluster, uh, this tile and this tile, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And that's the only way to, to fit it. So we have to mark all of these tiles, disconnect it from here and disconnect it from here. Now this four, as one, two, once again, it could go here for three, but regardless, it will have to go this way so we can mark this tile, but then we don't know if it goes here or here or here. This seven, we had five in, we need six here, and then now we're touching the four and seven almost, so we have to disconnect this tile, which leaves only one option for the four, uh, for the seven, so we have to go here, completing the seven, and then disconnect it from all the other tiles and that just leaves all of the tiles for the, the two threes and the four. So there we go. All right, next up, this one. This one is not too bad, I remember. So right right off the bat, you can always disconnect the tiles that are like in between cluster clues. So the four and two obviously cannot join. Uh, they cannot belong in the same cluster because then it wouldn't make sense. So these tiles are gone, this tile is gone, and this tile is gone, so none of these can connect. Now, this one is a little tricky. It's kind of hard to explain like what you're supposed to look at here, but this four has only one tile, so we have to at least go up here to make two, 
which then lets us disconnect this tile because we can't connect up the two and four. But at this point, you kind of have to just think about this two. So uh, the two in relation to the five, how can we fit this five in this area? If we were to mark this tile for the two, this two has two options. Either it goes up here or it goes down here, right? If this is marked, and this is where, honestly, I, I think I'm just going to show you in paint just to illustrate it a little bit more. I don't think it's quite necessary, but we might as well do it. So give me just a second here. All right, here we go. Good enough. So if this two, uh, this two were to reach up here, then this cluster would now be complete. We would remove these three tiles and this tile, of course. And now what are we left with for the five? The five could at most be one, two, three, four, and then five. It would have to go this way and then be disconnected, which would only leave two tiles for the four. So in short, this tile cannot be marked. We can't extend the two up here or the five or four would not have enough tiles. So that's pretty much the only explanation for that, really, that, that I've been able to find. Maybe there's a better way to look at this. But yeah, we just know that this tile cannot be marked, so we can remove it. And then this two has to go down here, which lets us disconnect it like so, completing this three. And now we look at this four. So if this four uses these two, we have one, two, three. And then regardless, it still has to go up here at least, but then it could extend more. So now we look at the five and look at how many tiles remaining it has. So this five cannot touch this tile or the four can't complete itself. And it also can't touch this tile, right? So the five has one, two, three, four, five, six, and potentially seven here. But if we then think of the four instead, what happens if the four uses this tile here? Then we would have one, two, three. We would have to disconnect these two tiles from the five and then it would use one of these two. Again, I probably should show this in paint, but I guess it doesn't really matter. So we would have one, two, three, and then four in one of these two. These tiles are gone, and then the five has one, two, three, four, and it cannot use this tile because it would connect up to the four. So this tile cannot be used by the five, and it cannot be used by the four, so we have to remove it. And that leaves only one option for the four here, and then we have to disconnect this, and now, again, the five only has one potential solution because it cannot use this tile and it only has five tiles remaining. So all of these are marked and we disconnect it here and then we do use these two tiles for the four. I guess let's move on to this one now. This one, uh, we again look at the tiles that are off limits to this eight. So this eight will never be able to use this tile or this tile, right? Because then it would connect up to the four. So if we overlook these tiles, how many tiles are we left with for the eight? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there you go. All of these have to be marked. That is the only way to fit the eight in. And then we disconnect it from this area. That gives us a three, so we can disconnect this. Now here, this is a little tricky. Uh, this, this four, cannot use this tile, right? Like it can never use this tile or it would connect up to the three, but it can use these five tiles total. Meanwhile, this three cannot use this tile because it would connect up to the, the four, but it can use these five tiles. So here's where I think I am going to show this in paint because it is uh, a little easier to see. All right, so we have to look at this four here. Again, like I said, we have these five tiles to play around with. Those are the only tiles the four can use to complete itself, which essentially means that within these four tiles, we will remove one. There will be one hole here. And you can very easily see that the hole has to be here, because if we were to place this, a gold tile right here, then Neither of these clues can make use of it. If this three goes here, then we would disconnect these tiles, and then the four would only have two tiles left. If the three goes here, then it would disconnect all of these, and once again, the four only has two. And if the four uses this tile, 
then regardless of how we do that, if we mark uh, a black tile here and then mark it like this, then these would be disconnected and the three would only have one tile left. If this is the hole instead, then we would still disconnect these two and the three only has two and so on. If this is marked, then we would get this, disconnect these and the three would not have enough. So either way, if this part, if this tile is part of the four, then we would have to remove these two tiles, leaving not enough for the three. So this tile is off limits, same as this one for the four. So because of that, we know the four cannot use either of these two tiles, which means it has to use only the four that it has available like so, and then gets disconnected. And then the three only has one option here. All right, now this one. Oh boy, how did I do this one again? Time for another cut in from the future. I did solve this, I did have a solution to it, but in hindsight, I don't really like the way I went about this. It was needlessly complicated and I was looking at it from the perspective of the four, which is really not necessary. You can just start by looking at the seven and five. So that's what I'm gonna do instead. And let's show this in paint just because it's way easier to illustrate so you can really see how this all makes sense. So let's start by looking at this seven here. This seven has a total of eight potential tiles that it can use to complete itself. It obviously can't get a tile here or we connect up to the four and it can't use this tile. So these tiles are all we have and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight potential tiles to use here, which means only one of these seven tiles around it can be removed. So we could remove this one and then we would have to mark all of these or we could remove this one, oh, this one, and then all of these would have to be marked and so on. Now, because of that, that means that if we just look at these two tiles, they either both have to be marked, which means these would be cut off, right? Or only this one is marked and this one is removed and then we would have all of these tiles. And once again, this would be cut off because we're using this tile. And if we're not using this tile, if we place the hole there, then the seven would have to complete like this, again, removing this tile and this tile. So regardless of the position of the hole, because we need to have this one or this one or both, this tile will always be removed between the four and seven because the four can't use it. If the four uses it here, then we would have to cut off these two and then the seven can't complete and the seven can't use it. So we can already see that this tile will be gone no matter what. And then on the left side here, we can do the same thing. If we look at the five, what tiles does the uh, the five have available to use? It cannot use this tile or it would connect up to the four and it cannot use this tile or it would connect up to the four. So we have these six tiles and same thing here. There's only one hole. So let's assume that we either we either have to put two tiles here which would disconnect these two and not leave enough for this, the four here. Or we have a hole here and a tile there, which then disconnects this tile and leaves open these tiles. Or we have a hole here and a tile there, which again will disconnect both of these tiles, leaving not enough for the four. So either way, same as with for the, the seven, whether these two are both marked, this tile is gone. If this one, is marked this tile is gone and if this one is marked this tile is gone so because we need to use one or the other or both this tile will always be removed so we can do that for sure remove these two tiles there is no other way to do it i hope that's a better explanation than what i what i gave either way this one is kind of tricky but yeah so we know this can't be marked and this can't be marked and from now it's relatively simple because now we look at the four. So the four has one tile. It can use one tile here. It can use one tile here and it can use one tile here. That's four tiles total. What would happen if we don't use either of these two and instead we go up here? Then we have, uh, let's say one, two, three, four, and then these two are both gone and then the seven can't complete itself. And if we do the opposite where we have one, two, three, and uh, actually, I mean, one, two, three, and four, well, then it touches the five. So it can only use 
these four tiles, because it can't use this one or the seven doesn't have enough, and it can't use this one or it touches the five. So we have to get this pattern for the four, disconnecting this tile and disconnecting this tile, which then leaves only seven here for the seven and five here for the five. I really don't know if that's a better explanation than what I had. It, this one is hard to explain, so if you have any uh, better explanation for this one, feel free to let me know. Now, back to the past. Again, pretty uh, messy one there, honestly. Alright, so this one. Man, this is... Holy shit, this is gonna take a, an age to do. I should have just have had this level in on its own. I might need to do that at some point, like just do single levels. But yeah, we only have three more sections, so let's let's try and do this. So, here we have a five, we have one, two, three, but that's all we can say for now. But then we look at the seven here. If we were to use these two tiles, we don't know if we have to, but we have one, two, three, and regardless, we have to use this tile to make four, then five, then six, and because of that, we now have to remove this tile to uh, unmark the five, and that, in turn, gives us only one way to complete the five. So we have one, two, three, four, and five, and then we can disconnect these two. And that gets us a four here, and a three here, which, in turn, gives us a chain of seven, so these tiles are not marked. So that was a pretty quick one. Good. More of that, please. So here we have a five, one, two, three, four, and then one here. We don't know which one yet. Now, let's look at the six instead. So the six here uh, can use this tile, we don't know if it has to, but if it does, we will have one, two, three, and then it can go to either one or both of these. So let's say it goes to both, one, two, three, four, five, it cannot go up here because we can't connect it to the, the five, so the only option for the final tile, also we can just mark this tile because obviously it has to go here, even if it marks this one, we'll have one, two, three, so we know that, but this is the one we don't know. So here we have one, two, three, maybe four and five, but this tile cannot be marked, and this tile, regardless of what happens, has to be part of the six. Whether the six goes from here to here, or from all of these three tiles, or if it skips this and goes like this way and down here, this tile has to be part of the six. And because of that, we can unmark these two tiles because the, the five can't connect up to this tile or it would become a, a six cluster. So these are removed, which gives us a four here and a four here. And that in turn gives us this line of six. So these tiles are now unmarked and these tiles are unmarked. And then here for the four, we have one, maybe two. Regardless of whether this one is marked or not, we will have three and four, which completes this two, so that tile is unmarked, and we now have to use this tile. All right, I believe this is the final one, right? Uh, now, yeah, this one is also kind of tricky. So here, I think it's easier to, uh, the easiest thing is to look at this eight here. So once again, think about the, uh, the tiles that are off limits for this eight. This tile cannot be reached by the eight, or it would connect up to the, the three. And this tile is not reachable by the eight, or it would link up to the six. So this eight can at most use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine tiles. So out of these tiles, we only have one gap in them. Because of that, we know certain tiles have to be marked, like this tile, this tile, and this tile will have to all be marked or we can't complete this eight. The reason being, let's look at this tile. If we were to remove this tile, then that in turn also removes another potential space for this eight. And we could only remove one tile, so we can only remove a tile on an edge. We can only remove this tile or this one, or this one, this one, or this one. So if we were to remove this one, then this eight would only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then it can't complete uh, at all because it can't touch the three. So because of that, we know that these three tiles that link up one or more tiles to this eight all have to be marked like so. I don't know, that, that's maybe a bit of a, a tricky explanation to follow, but I hope that's... Uh, that's enough. Now at that point, we don't know anymore. 
It could be both of these, it could be both of these, it could be this one. We don't know. One of these five tiles will be removed and all other four will be marked. But this is enough to look at this six now because we've reached up to here. So the six can at most reach one tile over here, then it would need to be cut off from this tile, right? So at the minimum, we can have one, two, three, or at the maximum rather, one, two, three, four, five, and regardless, this tile will have to be marked for the six. So we can mark that, which in turn lets us unmark this tile because the four can't connect up to it. So we get that, and now that lets us complete this four. So this four has one, we get two, we cannot complete uh, connected up to the three, so these tiles have to be disconnected, and now we get the four chain like so, the, the four cluster, nice voice crack. Here we have the three, we have one, this is very late, and holy crap, I've been talking for a long time here. The, this three cluster has one, it maybe uses one here, so one, two, but regardless, we have to use this tile for the three, so this one is marked, and that in turn lets us remove this tile, and that is crucial because now we have removed one tile out of the five tiles that this eight can use. So the eight only has four potential tiles left to complete itself. Also, we can complete this three. So the eight has four tiles. We only have available uh, five, six, seven, and eight because this tile is off limits. So all of these have to be marked and then we cut it off here. And now there are only six tiles remaining for this six. Oh my God. Yeah, <laughs> that, was, that was a bit much. Only two levels, but yep, they are uh, getting tougher and tougher. So that's it for today. Next time, I guess we'll take a look at maybe Tetra and uh, the new groups mechanic or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.